Hello students, welcome to Game Shastra. Welcome to the world of chemistry. Today we are going to discuss Abbo principle. Now what is Abbo principle? Abbo is a German word which means building up. Now basically Abbo principle what we understand is how to fill up the electrons in the orbitals. Right? So let's look at the Abbo principle. It's a very simple rule, simple principle that you can follow to fill the electrons in the orbitals. For example, how to write down Abbo principle? What you have is you have 7s orbitals. You can see over here 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, 6s, 7s orbital. Then you have 2p, 3p, 4p, 5p, 6p, and 7p orbitals. In D, you have 3d, 4d, 5d, and 6d orbitals. And in F, you have 4f and 5 orbitals. You have to place them in this order. And then what you have to do is you have to draw keep on drawing the parallel lines which are passing through these orbitals and you are going to put the upside arrow now what this represents is according to above principle whenever you are going to fill the electrons in the orbital you are going to fill 1s orbital first okay then go back to the initial point then you are going to fill the 2s orbital again now there are no orbitals ahead of 2s so we'll go back in the third series then you are going to fill 2p orbital Okay, then you will move ahead and you will have 3s orbital. So, you will fill the 3s orbital. You will keep on doing this thing till the point all the electrons are filled in the respective orbitals. That is how we use the Abbo principle. It's a very simple principle to remember to fill the electrons in the orbital. Now, there are few things that you should know is Abbo principle is purely based on the amount of energy that you need to fill the electron in an orbital. Okay. What does that mean? When you say that 1s orbital comes first or fills first and then the 2s orbital, it means 1s orbital is lower in energy than 2s orbital, which indirectly means you need a lesser amount of energy to fill the electrons in 1s in a comparison to the amount of energy that you require to fill the electrons in 2s. That is what the logic behind Abbo principle. Then there is a one more thing, one more rule that above principle follows that is n plus n rule it is called. Okay, every electron is having four set of quantum numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4. First one is called principal quantum number. Second one is the azimuthal quantum number. Third one is a magnetic quantum number. And the last one is a spin quantum number. For every unique electron, this four set of quantum numbers will never be the same. Okay, if you are going to compare two electrons, then this two electrons will never have the four set of same quantum numbers. Okay, so it is like a unique address to each of the electron. Now what is the n plus n rule? n represents a principal quantum number. And l in this case represents the azimuthal quantum number. Now azimuthal quantum number is nothing but for an electron, principal quantum number is nothing but a shell in which the electron is present. And azimuthal quantum number is the orbital in which your <coughs> in which your electron is present. Okay. So in this case, if you talk about n plus n rule, basically it is the addition of principal quantum number and the azimuthal quantum number. Right. So let's talk about what this n plus rule says. Suppose if you are filling electron in a 3D orbital and if you want to fill the electron in 4S orbital, then how we are going to count n plus n? Now these are the things that you need to remember. There are azimuthal quantum numbers for S, P, D and F orbital. For S, the azimuthal quantum number is 0. For P, it is 1. For D, it is 2. And for F, it is 3. So for 3D, 3 is a principal quantum number that is n. In this case, 4 is a principal quantum number that is n. For D, now in this case, what is n plus l? n is 3 and l is the azimuthal quantum number. For d, you can see azimuthal quantum number is 2. So 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. For 4s, the n principal quantum number is 4. For s, the azimuthal quantum number is 0. So the total addition is 4. Now what this rule says, the one which has a lower value will get filled first. So you can see over here in a uh, above principle as well. Your 4s orbital, if you go on from 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, 4s orbital fills first and then your 3d orbital is filled. 
right so this is what is your n plus n rule okay the one which is having a lower value will get filled first now the instances can be there where you will have the same n plus n then what you are going to do for example suppose if you are having 3d and uh, 4p orbital for this n is equal to 3 and for d you can see l is equal to 2 okay l is equal to 2 for 3d for 4p n is equal to 4 and for uh, as it is in p orbital your l is equal to azimuthal quantum number is equal to 1 so 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 in this instances what you will do is you will fill the orbital with a uh, lesser principal quantum number first okay so you can see over here in above principle when you are having a 3d and 4p which are having n plus n l is equal to same value in that case 3d will get filled first and then 4p why because the third shell comes first and then the fourth shell that these are the two real rules that you should remember while using above principle and this is how above principle is represented once you understand this once you are in a line with writing this above principle by your own you will understand or you will know how to fill the electrons in the above principle or the orbitals now few things more that you should remember is every orbital has a maximum capacity of accommodating electrons so s orbital can accommodate maximum of two electrons p orbital can accommodate maximum of six electrons d orbital can accommodate maximum of 10 electrons and f orbital can accommodate maximum of 14 electrons when you whenever you are going to fill the orbitals you should remember this values that you cannot fill electrons beyond this for example if i want to write down atomic uh, or the electronic configuration for sodium which is having atomic number of 11 i'll follow the above principle i'll fill the 1s orbital first so 1s but i should know that in s i can put maximum of two electrons in 1s orbital i'll put two electrons i'll go back to the above principle when it is filled there are no orbitals beyond that so i'll go back to the initial point i'll say i can fill now 2s orbital so it is a still s orbital how much how many electrons i can put i can two i can put two electrons right now still there are 11 minus 4 okay kitna electrons bacha still seven electrons are there so i'll go back to the previous so a point and I'll see I can put now electrons in the 2p orbital in p I can put maximum of 6 electrons I have 7 electrons left so I'll put 6 electrons in 2p and if you move ahead what you have is a 3s so in the case of 3s how many electrons I can put I can put 2 electrons but right now I have only 1 electron left so I'll put 1 electron in this case so for sodium according to above principle the electron configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1 so this is the way how you can write down the above principle you can take any atom if you know the atomic number you can write down the electronic configuration based on the above principle so if i want to summarize this i can say that 1s orbital is lower in energy than 2s orbital which is lower in energy than 2p orbital which is lower in energy than 3p 3s orbital which is lower in energy than 3p orbital which is lower in energy than 4s orbital you can check for yourself we are going in sequence 1s 2s 2p 3s 3p 4s then 3d 4p 5s then 4d 5p 6s then 4f 5d 6p 7s then 5f 6d 7p so 7p in this case will be the orbital which will have the highest energy okay that means it will require we will require high amount of energy to fill the electrons in 7p orbital so this was a very small video on above principle it is not a difficult concept as such but you should know above principle how to fill the electrons we are going to come up with the another videos on Hunsul and Polyxlin principle which will make your job very easy to fill the electrons. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe to Kame Shastra and stay tuned.